Yo, what's good? What up, Black Cooker TV? It's been a while. Now on route down to the studio. It's studio time today. Anyway, you might be wondering why I'm on this. I'm decked out in this today because, damn, Bangkok is uh, having some uh, air pollution right now. The air isn't so good, but uh, yeah, everyone's out here wearing their own mask, and uh, this is what I got. It's for uh, the Soul Damn Fly single. Let's do it, La Coca TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll see you, I'll see you. I miss y'all, man, La Coca TV. Let's go. Subscribe now, YouTube, La Coca TV. I wanna be so damn high. I wanna be so damn fly. What's good, La Coca TV? Today, you're gonna follow me today on a new single. It's called So Damn Fly. Fuck, I just dropped my phone though. Anyway, back to uh, today. You're gonna follow me on the creation of So Damn Fly. New single coming out real soon, February 23rd. Out here in my best place, Vintage Studio. You know how we rock it for the last three years? That's how we do it. Let's go. Let's go, La Coca TV. We're now set in the studio. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, focus, eh? Okay. What's good, La Coca TV? How y'all? Anyway, uh, now we're set in the studio. Time for a new singles called So Damn Fly. <coughs> the essentials for studio making is always water, my cigarettes, the earphones, and my lyrics all stored in this, my rate treasure box, should I call it? Anyway, um, check out a new song, it's called So Damn Fly. Yep. It's a different kind of song. It's uh, more of a rockish number. Yep. Stay tuned for it. Hey, what's good, La Coca TV? It's been a while. It's your boy, Endigo's Cardiac Coca. Coming back to you live on La Coca TV. Anyway, what inspired me to do this song, So Damn Fly? Um, well, firstly, I must add that So Damn Fly is actually a single where it's a heavy rock and fuse single with hip hop, you know, with rap. I'm always still back to my basics of uh, as an artist and rap. Uh, however, I also like to uh, add creativity, diverse genres, you know, that's just how I do. Rock and rap and you get so damn fly. Before you start any recording, you gotta get in the mood. So damn fly. Always get in the mood. Always get in the mood. Before you start any studio session. Most important, okay? Get in the mood. And if I feel the song, you know, that's what music's all about. And in the mood, you get the right product, cocaine. Well, this song is all about being as an individual, as yourself, how you portray yourself as an individual to the world. You know, everybody can have opinions about you. Uh, but this song is like a rebellion song, where I'm just telling everyone out there, like, Sadly, for who I am as an artist, you know, if your opinions are relevant, I might consider it, I might take it, but end of the day, I do me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just gotta be true as an artist, show my message, you know, it's a very powerful, personalized uh, song that I wrote, you know. Uh, and I think rock as a genre was a very good compliment for the song as well. And uh, I think all the elements that's required mix it up and uh, we get so damn fly. Are my lyrics um, shooting at anyone? Um, no, I must say, I must say that uh, my lyrics is not meant for anyone or shot at anyone in specific but I think it's a more of a um, general 
lyrics of how I feel about uh, people exploiting uh, social media, you know, uh, people talking smack behind the screens, just typing all what they feel and etc. You know, but you know. When, it, when, when it's down to reality, to the real world, you know, and when you meet face to face, boys just keep silent, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just me addressing the issue of how people exploit social media. That's good. And the vocal recording is done. What's next? The boy, the master plan, the mastermind, the master plan. Eat out. I can give a shit who said who's a freak never knew me It's the most crucial part though I wanna be so damn fly I wanna be so damn high I wanna be so damn fly You wanna be so damn high You wanna be so damn fly You wanna be so damn high You wanna be so damn fly I've got to introduce to you uh, someone best in the business, Pinin. Yeah. This guy is the best in the business. He knows what's going on, the best in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> so my song's opening lyrics is like this. Automatic, systematic, now I know I fucking get it. Don't you know, now I know how the world fucking blows. Come to me, what you see, when the world's a reality. Fake plastic keeps fake plastic, now I fucking get it. You know, it's just to address the issue of uh, the systems in different countries. Um, I think it's all based in a very automated system. Hobi wants to get out of the comfort zone, you know. But uh, let me just share with you that being out of your comfort zone makes, uh, forces you to think out of the box, forces you to do something unique, to do something different that may be a formula to success, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I like to um, always be open to genres, that's why I have peeps asking me like, Andy, why are you doing a rock song all of a sudden? Are you a, are you a rock singer now? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm always still back to my roots of hip hop, of rapping, that's who I am, I'm, 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 a, I'm a rap artist as well. But I do not want to be constricted just because I'm in a certain genre. You know what I mean? One thing I know in uh, the right formula that's out there is that artists with that have different and diverse styles can adapt to anything, have a much, much longer lifespan in this entertainment industry. You get what I'm saying? This song was produced by The Mass Parade. The Mass Parade uh, produces music uh, from all kinds of genres uh, and uh, different styles. Uh, working with Mass Parade, I think really uh, open up my opinions and perceptions of uh, different genres of music as well because I'm very much into hip hop and rap and stuff but you know recording like a, a rock rap song it's, it's way different you know in the studio like you have to um, create the bond with the sessionist you know play the right time and, and that's how all the magic happens I think the studio is always a sacred place for me it's a place where magic happens, where, you know, where people's character comes out, creativity, ego, all comes out and put it to play on the melting pot and voila, we got the product of soda fly. Back to my lyrics as well, yeah, especially the hook, you know, it's so damn high, I wanna be so damn fly, you know. What I'm actually talking about is um, 
not substance abuse, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually talking about music, you know? Music is something very closely related to me uh, that uh, I appreciate every day. Music gets me high, you know? Music sets me free, that's why I can fly, you know? So that's how music goes. So damn high, I wanna be so damn fly. You wanna be so damn high. I wanna be so damn fly. You wanna be so damn high. You wanna be so damn fly. So damn fly, cardiac coca, and the goose coming soon your way on all major music platforms. Get it, get it. What happens after a studio session? Good night, good music, good company. And you just rock out your track. Very rare. Yo, what up, La Coca TV? It's been some time, you know what I'm saying? We're back on the grind, baby. You know what time it is. As well, back, check out my boy's new single, So Damn Fly. Bang. So Damn Fly, La Coca TV. We got Ray Valentine right about now. And the goods, we out. Signing off. Peace.